What's going on guys? We are back here in After Pulse. Finally took a little bit of a break, but we are back with the World War 1 weapons just released in After Pulse. Got some new guns. If you go to the shop, we got two crates for the event. We have boosted classic weapons and boosted royal unit gear. And so from this crate, you have a chance to get one of the new weapons. They're not skinned weapons, so they should be available forever. So, you know, don't break your back trying to get them during this sale. And also know that there will probably be skinned versions of these weapons down the line. So the regular editions kind of become irrelevant. So it's up to you if you want to build them or not. Uh, but there's a gear crate there. Um, there we go. There's a royal colonel pants. There's a royal colonel armor. Royal colonel helmet. Just make sure you hit that info button. Make sure the gear's in there before you buy them. There has been some issues in the past with that. But looks to be alright this time around. Just letting you know there's also a deal in the shop here for 510 gold you can get two weapons crates which are the same as in the shop that i just showed you you can get two gear crates same as in the shop just a chance for the gear not guaranteed but you also get a 100 percent classic weapons crate from four to six stars this is really cool so these are all the new weapons here we have an sr mk3 charlie that's a sniper rifle precision class weapon seems to be pretty similar to the mk l1189 so not sure that it's really useful you know it'll probably be decently rare since it's a charlie weapon obviously but we'll see how that is and then we got red 45 charlie that is a handgun class weapon but we got four other weapons we have the chester 97 alpha this is pretty much uh, another typhoon g12 i'll actually have the review coming up for that right here and then we have the t99 probably the most common gun it's the only gun without a classification you know alpha bravo charlie uh, so T99, just regular, no classification. That is an LMG class weapon. Can't remember the stats off the top of my head, so I don't know what that will compare to, if it'll be good or not. Then we have the Remy 8 Bravo on the bottom left. Bravo is three stars and higher, and that's an SMG class weapon. You know, looking at the stats, it has really good rate of fire, but low ammo and low range. So, you know, it might get over 6,000 rate of fire, but I think it's going to be held back by low ammo and low range. So it's probably not worth it. Uh, uh, but we will have reviews coming up for that and the last gun is the brw m18 bravo that's an assault class weapon based on the stats it looks to be basically just like an smr the smr 16 so that could be interesting could be really the only worthwhile gun in this series i don't know but regardless of how they perform i think they all look cool you know i'm definitely excited to have these in the game i'll show you the gear i got i got two of the five star pieces this is a royal major helmet so at five stars we have plus 15 percent accuracy with SMG. I believe the four star is plus 10% accuracy with SMG, so that means a six star will probably be plus 20% accuracy with SMG. Not the greatest portability, 926, but not terrible. Kind of low on the defense, 1159. I don't know, it's, it is five star gear. Um, I pretty much only wear six star gear, so I don't really have a frame of reference for how 1159 stacks up for five star gear, but feels a little on the low side. Then we have two piece, three piece set bonuses. Two piece set bonus is plus 10% range on the five star gear so i would imagine that goes to maybe plus 15 percent on the six star gear i don't know i haven't seen the six star gear yet and then the three piece set bonus is plus five percent damage with the classic weapons and classic weapons are those six weapons that i just showed you so i don't know what that would get to on the six star maybe plus 7% damage. I don't know, plus 10% damage seems a little high. I don't know if it'll go that high, but I guess we'll see if somebody pulls a 6-star gear. I'll show you the armor. Uh, we got plus 15% reload speed on SMG, so pretty much SMG gear. And I think, I think I heard the pants have a boost for SMG portability, which could be interesting. Might be the only useful gear piece out of the new gear, but I've yet to see the pants. And aside from reload speed bonus, we also have 10% faster cool down for explosive gadgets 815 portability not the best but not not too low 46 36 defense i think that's that's pretty good right yeah i think that's pretty good defense for a torso piece um we're starting off with the chester 97 alpha four stars maxed out so damage gets to 10,323. rate of fire 701 this guy definitely shoots slow you can definitely feel it accuracy 1227 that's really low stability 656 that's that's incredibly low. Range at 938. That's pretty low. Disappointingly low. 
low, is that the word? I don't know. And then ammo at 12, you know, that's fine enough. It does have shell reload. Uh, but let's see, it's pump action, classic weapon, this highly portable weapon is very powerful at close range. And that's exactly, the description says it all. It's very powerful at close range, but you have to get in that close range for it to be powerful. It's not a range shotgun. Any shotgun event, your AKSG-12, especially the Dragon Edition, is just gonna absolutely obliterate this thing. You know, I really, I'm finding it hard to find a difference between this and the Typhoon G12. I probably have a picture of the 4 Star Max Typhoon, maybe when I edit this video, I'll throw out a picture of that. Note to self. But we'll jump into multiplayer, see if we can find anything going on. And we're gonna try and use this shotgun here. So hopefully you enjoyed that uh, brief overview of some of the new weapons and some of the new gear. I guess we'll go to ranks, I don't know. We're probably gonna get absolutely destroyed, but hopefully people are playing. Sometimes it's hard to find games when new weapons come out, cause you know, everyone's building them and stuff. All right, we got a match on close quarters camp. This should be pretty interesting trying to use this shotgun only. I haven't even tested out this assault rifle that I got as my primary. I haven't even tried that in training, so that'll be interesting if we give that a shot here, but trying to focus on the shotgun. Missed the first shot, I don't know. We might have been able to have that guy. Five star Noxky Cinnabar taking us out pretty quick. It would also be better not to wear this gear. This guy sees me. Not reaching through that little slot. See if we can get on. There we go, there's a kill. Not bad, I guess, but I mean, I'm playing so conservative, you know. I'm, I really can't run out, can't be aggressive. Handgun was that? Is that guy have the revolver? Looked a little weird. Let's see. Way right back there. Yeah, there's two back there. Now this guy's probably gonna come down here. See if we can pull this off. Oh, he's got stun protection, I think. That was a nice uh, nice little plan. That'll throw the stun around the corner and run up there. We had the right idea. Cheese 12 just got taken out. Teammate just went down over there. I think they're still back in this corner. Nope, Tasman is over there. What's going on? Oh, we got one there. Oh, that's some good range. That's not bad. Let's see. This corner's empty. That's weird. I don't know where they're spawning. Oh, we got one up here. Can we get him? You see, it's very inaccurate unless you're locked right onto the target. You know, Urban Bowman headset would probably be a good option to wear with this. Um, I don't know if the Cinco de Mayo gear would be worth it, really. Maybe for shotgun events, but you should really try for an AKS G12 or Hydra, at the least, for a shotgun event. Is there somebody back here? Yeah, there is. Oh, we got him. Kind of shot around the corner there. We're, uh, we're like Hauser in training. Not Hauser in training, like working towards Hauser, but Hauser in the training mode. I just wasn't paying attention there. I don't know. Four star Knox case in a bar. Whatever. Let's see, we got Bison 90 up there. I don't know what's going on, man. I'm getting hit from everywhere. This guy's looping around. Kobe. Ah, somebody came from our left. Kobe on a spin. What a pivot. Yeah! <laughs> I don't know man, I mean if you're an incredibly skilled, incredibly patient player, you can get by using a shotgun like this, but overall it's just not worth it man. 
I really, I'm finding a hard time finding a difference between this and a Typhoon. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't think I can recommend this gun. I mean, look at that, just no contest, we just got wrecked. I don't know, I would say I'm not a fan of this guy. Four, six, and two. That's a Chester 97 Alpha at four stars maxed. Not much else I can say about it, really. Got a weapons crate AC-30. We'll see if we can evolve this guy and close out the review. I'm not going to do much more with it. Might as well just make the five star. All right, so there's the evolved from four star to five star Chester 97 Alpha. Uh, so 16,800 to evolve a four star. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And just like that, we got the five star Chester 97 Alpha completely useless. Looks like we gain a little iron sight on the top there. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> there's your first classic weapons, World War One weapons review. And hopefully you enjoyed it. Grab a screenshot of this guy. I don't think I have the five star yet. Off the bat, first one is the Chester 97 Alpha and I cannot recommend it. Feels exactly like a Typhoon G12. You know, won't even be useful for shotgun events. AKS G12 and Hydras are still just gonna wreck this guy, so I don't know. I don't know why it's an Alpha class weapon. There's really no reason for that. But yeah, there's a look at it. Hopefully that helps you guys out, and I'll be back as soon as possible with some more reviews on all of the new weapons. You know, I'll post probably multiple videos per day just trying to get them out there, all the new weapons, as many as I can. Hopefully it helps you guys out. Hopefully it uh, gives you an idea of what to build what to chase in this new series of guns and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the upcoming videos and I'll catch you on the next one.